back to my channel. Today's video is very exciting because it's going to be a humongous, beautiful, swoon-worthy stationery haul. Now, if you know me, you know I am obsessed with stationery. I love buying beautiful things for my home office. I have literally way too many diaries and notepads and pointless pens that I don't need but I just can't help it I love it all so so much recently they opened a paper chase in my local town so now I spend a lot of my time there and my bank balance is not very happy with with me basically nevertheless I went on a recent splurge in my local stationery shops and I bought a few bits and I thought I'm going to do a stationery haul because we're at the time now where everybody's kind of getting ready to go back to school, starting new jobs and or setting up home offices and just generally the stationery in stationery shops has really vamped up a level. It's just so swoon worthy. Sorry about my hair by the way, it is a huge frizzy mess. I know I say this in every video but it is and it's hard to film with but you know, maybe I need to turn the tempo down a bit. I'm really, really pale. Firstly, I'm going to start with some cards I bought from Paper Chase. Now, these are such funny. Okay, have you been into Paper Chase? Have you seen their assortment of cards? They're so hilarious. They're really funny, like quirky, different styles of cards. Now, the first one I bought is this one. It is basically just a Because Cats card. Now, you know I'm obsessed with cats. I have two of my own beautiful little kitties and I'm just such a cat person. So every time I see like funny cat cards, I have to buy them. I have no occasion to buy this or person to buy this for yet, but I do have in mind someone I'm going to send this to, but I'm not gonna say now because I think she watches my videos and I don't want to ruin the surprise when she receives a because cats card through the post just for no reason other than because cats so i picked up another cat card because you know i'm obsessed and this one made me laugh so much it's just like a big frizzy fluffy black cat just kind of sitting there with his eyes wide open it's just really funny i love the cute little illustration they're just blank on the inside which is fine because i love blank cards on the inside because you can just kind of do it for any occasion and for any reason sometimes i like to send people cards literally to say hi and tell them something funny brighten their day you know what was i gonna say then the last card i picked up from paper chase is this, sorry, clearly wasn't ready because nothing's taken out of the packages, is this avocado birthday card. How adorable, it says avo great day and it's so cute, it's got this cute little um, avocado thing at the front and do you know what, I've just realised it's magnetic, that is super cool, so you can kind of, wow, and it's got a little magnet at the back and I can kind of have it on the fridge or something, although my fridge is integrated so I can't put magnets on it. But I find that so cute to give to someone. Obviously avocados are life. I haven't decided who I'm gonna give that to yet, but I have plenty of options. I know plenty of people will appreciate this funny little card. I need to tidy up. Okay, so next up in my massive stationery haul, I have a couple of beautiful pens. Now, they're not everyone's taste and they're a bit eccentric, but I love them. So the first pen is this cute, pink, glittery, rainbow llama fluffy pen, which I absolutely love. I don't know why I got it. I think I just wanted something completely out there because it is me and I do love things completely out there and a bit bonkers like myself. Why do I have neighbors? Oh, stop looking at me. I just think a pen like this it's always going to be fun to write with, regardless of what you're writing, it's always going to be fun to write with. Let me take the label off. So I saw the little llama and it was like, whoa, a llama instead of a unicorn. How the tables have turned. I do need to test it out though. I'm going to write on something now. Oh, it writes nicely, yes. It's so hard to find a pen that I absolutely love how it writes and this writes really nicely. So the next pen I got in my paper chase haul, well, my stationery haul, is, are you ready for this? All stand to attention, the queen. 
How cute is this? Okay, if you don't know by now, if you're new to my channel, if you're a new subscriber, PS don't forget to subscribe below, but if you don't know by now, I'm obsessed with the Queen. I just love the royal family, I love the Queen. Well, I did kind of like meet her last year. When I say meet her, I came across her in when she was driving through at my local town and she was like this far away. I waved at her, she waved at me back, I cried, I fell on the floor, I couldn't stop talking about it. Thinking about it like puts me on edge because I wish I could like go back into that time. And then when I was in Paper Chase, I saw this from Paper Chase, I was like, you what? Is that a pen made up of the Queen? Like how cool is that? I need that, I need to write with that. So next up in my stationery haul, I purchased myself some rubbers because I do actually tend to draft a lot of things up in pencil. I work from home quite a lot and I tend to make a lot of drafts up for future videos in pencil because I change things, I make some differences. So I needed some good rubbers and I can't just have any plain rubber, I need a kind of different rubber. I need something that's gonna stand out a little bit. By the way, I'm calling it rubbers and I know that I have a USA audience. I know I have an audience based in the US, so I think you guys call it erasers. So here we have, oh, dropping it, dropping it, come back. Here we have a flamingo rubber, forward slash eraser, and some macaroon erasers. Look how amazing these are. So I'll show you the flamingo first. So the flamingo eraser was three pounds and this was from Paper Chase as well. To be honest, I'm gonna find it difficult to actually use him. I find it really difficult to use things that are animals because <laughs> I feel like, although it's clearly not a real animal, I don't wanna like hurt him. He's going to look really cute on my desk, just kind of chilling there. Again, probably not gonna use it because it was more for the aesthetics of it. It just puts a smile on people's face. If anything, it puts a smile on your face. So next up, I purchased the macaroon rubbers. These are gorgeous. I have actually previously spoken about these. I haven't yet used them. That's why I've included them in this haul. They're so gorgeous. The colors are absolutely vibrant. They look edible. Like I genuinely want to eat them when I look at them. And because there's six of them, it's really cool when someone will ask to borrow your rubber, a razor, whatever you call it. You pass them one of these, it's like, whoa, wow, that is unexpected and that is pretty cool. So why not purchase yourself some macaroon erasers? Included in my stationery haul, I purchased, got hair. So I purchased myself some smelly highlighters. Who remembers back in the day there were smelly gel pens? I was obsessed with smelly gel pens, but I've never seen scented kind of felt tip highlighter pens. I find it quite difficult to focus on a page of just black writing. So I like to color code things so I, my brain can instantly recognize what it's kind of coded to. So I saw these, I thought I'm definitely going to purchase those because one, I need them for the colors. Two, apparently, haven't tested it out yet, but apparently they're scented. So I'm going to try it out now. Let's try the pink one, which is peach. Okay, it's a bit different. I thought there'd be, I thought it'd be strawberry. It does, it smells like peach. Oh my God. Why have I not got these out before? They smell so good. What's this? Chocolate, a chocolate one. Wow, chocolate pen, amazing. I have a chocolate pen. I hope I don't accidentally eat it when I'm hungry. Okay, so orange. Nice, I like it. That smells, the lemon one smells like um, Dettol wipes, you know, like for your kitchen. So next up in my stationery haul, I wanted to show you my stapler. I'm obsessed with my stapler. You know you're getting old when you're obsessed with a stapler, but I am. It is this gorgeous see-through rose gold stapler. It's so gorgeous. I got this from Paper Chase again. I did actually buy quite a lot from Paper Chase as you can tell and I just think it's really cool. I love how it's rose gold. I love that it's see-through. I love see-through like gadgets. I don't know why. There's like something cool about a see-through clear gadget. You know like you get those see-through watches where you can see 
all like the cogs and everything that's going on inside them. I have weird likes in life, I don't know. But I just think it looks really good on my desk. Again, it's a talking point. People always ask you where you got it. I also purchased some staples with it, but they don't have rose gold staples in Paper Chase, which I find really confusing because you have the ro rose gold stapler, but why not the rose gold staples? So, hmm. Okay, so with a stationery haul, obviously you need a pencil case or a pen case, however you call it. And I purchased this gorgeous little pencil case from Paper Chase. This is a kind of tie dye, crazy coloured pencil case. And on the front it says, I love unicorns because I'm obsessed with unicorns. I know they, well, who knows they don't exist? I don't know. But I know they're not around anymore, but I just. I love anything kind of unicorn themed. As you know, I'm obsessed with the color purple and like pinky purples and silvery purples. So this kind of incorporates all of my favorite colors as like a tie dye thing. I also loved the little rainbow zip thing. And I just got it mainly because of the size. It's really, really quite spacious and big. And I wanted to put all of my colored pens in. So. All of these coloured felt pens that I purchased, the smelly ones, which smell very good, I'm going to put in there now. So next up I purchased myself a new notepad. I love notepads, I have way too many. Everybody's always saying, why do you have so many diaries, so many notepads? And I actually don't know why I do. So I do have a little obsession with buying them, but I can't resist a marble rose gold lined padded notepad. It's marble, it has rose gold on it, and also the pages are pink. Getting really lightheaded. I can't just not get this. I really fell in love with this. This was actually from WH Smith. I tend to go to Paper Chase over WH Smith these days, but I did see this when I was passing through and I fell in love with it. I love that it's hardback as well because I tend to like throw all my notepads in a bag and just go and some of them get damaged especially around the ends but this is a hardback book and it's just gorgeous and I think it will look really good in Instagram photos another reason why I buy a lot of things I don't actually need okay so last but not least in my stationery haul I purchased myself a gorgeous scrapbook I haven't had a scrapbook in so many years and I don't know why because I used to love doing scrapbooks Basically, I'm obsessed with taking photos of just events that are happening, of me, of my friends, of my family, of my pets. I just love taking photos, but I always forget to kind of print them and put them somewhere as a memory. And at the moment, I am going through a huge transition career-wise. I've started YouTube a few months back, and it's going really well, and all these opportunities are happening and I really want to document this part of my life because it's so exciting for me. And I saw this in Paper Chase and first of all I loved the gorgeous um, colours on it. It's a very oily watercoloured painting style book and I love the silver writing on the front. It says create a life you love and at the moment that's what I'm doing. I'm creating a life I love and it's a lot of fun, which is why I wanted to document it a bit more. And then inside we have, obviously, just plain scrapbook style paper. So my plan is to take lots of pictures with a Polaroid camera, kind of just stick them in here and write about that day that I had or that opportunity or why that meant so much to me on my current journey that I'm going through because it's really exciting for me. Obviously the saying at the front, create the life you love, is very fitting for what I want to put inside the book. So I just think this is a perfect purchase for me. Okay guys, so that's it for my huge stationery haul. Are you going back to school in September and where do you go to school? Let me know in the comments below. And also, don't forget to subscribe to me because honestly it does mean the world to me. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!